Introduction to Worldwide Telescope. Worldwide Telescope allows you to explore real images obtained with some of the world's most advanced telescopes. These are the same images that professional astronomers use in their research. Guided tours have been created to present particular topics by using Worldwide Telescope to show specific views of the sky and astronomical objects. The first time you view this tour, just let it play through without trying to interact with the program. After the initial viewing, you might want to replay it and follow along. When guided tours are playing, Worldwide Telescope displays full screen and hides all menus. In order to stop a guided tour so you can go into explore mode, press the escape key. If you are using a web client, this will bring up menus at the top and bottom of the main window. If you are using a Windows application, you have to move your mouse to the top and bottom of the screen to see the menus. When you are in explore mode, you can investigate the current view in more detail. You can zoom in and out using the page up and page down keys on your keyboard or scroll wheel on your mouse. You can move your view by clicking and moving your mouse in the main window. You can also rotate your view by holding down the control key while you move your mouse. In the left-hand part of the lower window, there is a pull-down to select what you are looking at and what imagery is displayed. You can look at the sky, which is what you are looking at now. You can also select the exact image of the sky with the imagery pull-down. Currently, you are looking at the optical view of the sky as captured with the digitized sky survey. You can use the imagery pull-down to see the sky in other wavelengths, such as this, this infrared view of the sky from the IRAS satellite, or this view of the sky as seen in hydrogen alpha emissions. You can also look at the Earth, which brings up a 3D view of our planet as seen from space. and other solar system worlds such as the planet Mars. In the last viewing mode you can look at various panoramas which are wraparound images taken from the surface of Earth, Mars, and Earth's moon. Let's go back to looking at the sky. When you move your mouse to the lower part of the window, a menu comes up. The bottom of that menu shows a row of labeled thumbnail images. The images listed are objects that are within the current field of view. If you move your mouse over one of the thumbnails at the bottom of the window, a circle indicating the location of that, that object in the sky and its name are shown in the main window. Clicking on any of the thumbnails in the bottom menu centers the current view on, on the location of the object and zooms in to show a more detailed image if one is available. If a detailed image is shown, you can slide the image crossfade controller to see how the detailed image is overlaid on top of the background sky image. This is particularly useful when comparing a detailed image in one wavelength to a sky background in another. Now that you've learned the basics of Worldwide Telescope, feel free to explore on your own.